Hi everyone, this is Maria and welcome to 13 Spooky Nights of Halloween Crafts. Today, I'm going to show you how to put together a scary storytelling kit. This is what you're going to need. This is how I put together my storytelling kit. I found this spooky fun box at our local Dollar Tree. It was only a dollar. For story inspiration, you're going to need a lot of fun spooky stuff to put inside your box. These Halloween drawstring bags are optional. I found these at our local 99 cent only store. A small witch's cauldron like this one that I found at our local dollar store is also optional. So let the spooky storytelling begin. So now that you have all of your storytelling props inside your spooky storytelling box, what are you going to do with them? There's a couple of different things you can do to inspire stories. And so let's lift off this roof and see what we have. I really love these, you guys. This is so much fun. Just looking inside, I'm already inspired. So anyways, this is how I would use it. I would set this next to my computer, and on a day when I'm over at my computer writing and looking for a scary story idea, I would just dig around in my box. And so you can do that. You can also spill it out on the table, and so you can see everything better. Let's see what we have. Oh, look at this skeleton on this grave. That is so cool and spooky. And then we have a skeleton that you can find in any little package at your dollar store. The packages that have the plastic uh, spider rings. We have a zombie. That's pretty spooky. This is one of those zombies that if you put in the water grows. But you know, it's like hard plastic, so I wouldn't do that. I would keep it just like this. I also have other zombies like this finger zombie. It's a puppet. You can just put right on your finger. And let's see, I think I have another puppet around here. Here it is. It's a monster. <laughs> and that is so cool. I love that. And we have an eyeball. We have a pumpkin, a wind up pumpkin that I got at the 99 cent store. Look at that. Can you imagine that chasing you? Imagine this pumpkin chasing you down the sidewalk. <laughs> of course it has to be midnight, right? And so how about a big hairy spider? I'm scared to death of spiders. And I have these little miniatures that I found at the Dollar Tree, like this miniature gargoyle and this miniature dead pirate. And I have this zombie too. And let's see, we have another wind up that I found at the 99 cent store, this little witch. I like that. And there's a few more zombies. I found these zombies in a package at the Spirit Halloween store for $5. There were a lot more in there, but I really like these and picked these out. Also, we have a rat. Imagine a giant rat coming out of your toilet, maybe. And if you don't happen to have one of these type of eyeballs, you can use a wiggly eye eyeball. And there's a creepy bony hand. I found that at Michael's. Also found this in Michael's in a package, a skull, and we have a coffin, and a witch's broom. I love this. I found this at Hobby Lobby, and we have a bat. <laughs> we have to have a bat, and we have to have some fangs, of course, and I found this cute little miniature trick-or-treat bag. It came with a bundle of about four of them at the 99 cent store, and then you can just spread these out on the table so you can see them all and so you may get inspired for a story this way if you're by yourself or with your friends you just can pick one thing out something that would inspire you like I would probably I'm drawn right now to this spider because like I said spiders really scare me and what would happen if giant spiders were crawling through my hometown so what if you found this witch's broom and it held magic powers and guess what? Maybe the witch that it belonged to is looking for it. And I think this sea monster tentacle would give me a lot of inspiration. In fact, as a writer, I'm very visual, so that's why I love these type of things to give me ideas. So to play the game with friends, you would just put everything into the cauldron and then you would take turns reaching into the uh, cauldron and then pulling out a storytelling prop and start telling a story. And then the next person would reach in and grab another prop and continue the story. And you can go for as long as you want. So I would reach in, and I'm drawn to this skull, <laughs> and I would say something like, um, I heard a clunk clunk coming from the dryer. My brother put his tennis shoes in there. Mom's gonna be mad. I went over to the dryer and out popped this skull, 
and it said, see that's kind of scary. <laughs> you can go on and on with that. And then someone else would reach in and maybe get this spider and say, and then I saw these long hairy legs creeping out of the dryer and then I saw its tentacles and it was a giant spider. Ah, run! And so you could just keep going like that and keep the fun going. So with a little imagination, these fun spooky props can be a lot of fun and you can create lots of spooky stories. To store your spooky storytelling props, you can either put them back into the box, you can keep them in this cauldron, or if you want to give them away as a gift, you can always put them inside this fun spooky Halloween drawstring bag that I found at the local 99 cent store and there were two to the package. So I think I'm going to go ahead and put mine in here. And so I'm just going to put these in. This is fun. And you can just add to it too if you find something spooky any time of the year. We have a full bag of storytelling props and you just pull the drawstring. You can either give it as a gift inside this cauldron. That would be really cute. Or you can give it away in this drawstring. This is really cute, would make a super cute gift. Or you can just go ahead and tuck this inside the storytelling box, just like that. And it fits perfectly. And I'm going to put the roof back on. Let's put it this way so you can see the ghost. Okay, so I don't know about you, but I'm feeling inspired. So I think I'm going to dig inside my scary storytelling box because I just know there's a scary story that needs to be told. Thanks for watching, you guys, and happy Halloween!